Hi, I'm Anna from Aroma and today I'm going to show you how to make a container candle. Now if you're new to candle making, a container candle is a great place to start because not only is it really easy, you can also have a lot of fun selecting which container you're going to use and which fragrance all you're going to choose. We have over 400 fragrances so you're going to be spoiled for choice. Now today we're going to be using our large Oxford container um, but whatever container that you choose um, we make it really straightforward because we tell you exactly how much wax you're going to need and what wick you're going to need so we take all the guesswork and all of the hard work out for you. So in front of me I've got everything that we need to make a container candle. So I've got our coconut soy wax so our coconut soy wax is Denali by Summit Waxes. So Denali wax is a really gorgeous blend of coconut and soy and we love to recommend it for brand new candle makers because it's virtually impossible to get it wrong. It's got a beautiful bright white color, it's got lovely smooth surface finish and coconut has an amazing scent throw so you're gonna get a beautifully fragranced candle with a lovely burn. We've got our wax, uh, we've of course got our container, um, we've got our fragrance oil, um, which is definitely the fun part. So the fragrance I've got today is Lotus Flower, um, but we've got over 400 fragrances, so whatever your taste in fragrance, whether it's salted caramel or whether you're more of a perfume person, we've got it all, so you're gonna have so much fun choosing that. So these are HTP 126 wicks. I've also got a wick holder so that when I'm making the candle it's just going to keep the wick nice and steady. Um, I've also got wick stickums which again is just going to help that wick adhere to the bottom of the glass as I'm making the candle. I've got these warning labels, um, they're easy peel, um, so easy to use um, and they're really important if I'm gifting or selling um, because of course we want whoever's using the candle to use it safely. I've also got our melting jug, um, so this is our mixing jug, melting jug. We're going to use it to weigh all of our products in, we're only going to be using this so it's going to be really clean, not messy at all, um, so that's why we like to do everything in this one jug. We've got a set of scales and we've got our thermometer. The only other thing that we're going to need is a heat source. We're just going to use a microwave um, because we like to keep things simple, however if you want to use a double boiler method you can use a bowl above a pan of water, just melt it how you would melt chocolate, um, so whichever method's fine, whatever works for you. Step one, we're going to prep our container. So for this step I'm going to need my container, I'm going to need um, my wick, I'm going to need a wick stickum which is going to just adhere the wick to the bottom of the container and I'm going to need my wick centering tool which is going to keep the wick nice and steady throughout the making process. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this layer from the wick stickum and I'm going to stick my wick onto it. I'm then just going to, using just my eye, I'm just going to um, centre the wick in the middle of the container. I'm then going to place the wick holder on the wick and that's just going to keep it nice and steady as I'm making the candle. Okay, so my container's ready. I'm just going to pop it to one side because it's time to step two, which is weighing the wax. So I'm going to just weigh directly on um, this set of kitchen scales, um, just using my pouring jug, directly in the pouring jug, um, it's what we're going to be melting the wax in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice up um, this block of Denali, um, so it's really nice and soft, um, you can just do this on a chopping board at home um, and I'm going to weigh 285 grams of wax um, because that's how much the Oxford needs. Okay so I think I was at 286 grams there but I've just decided that's close enough um, so now we're going to do step three which is melting the wax. I'm going to do this directly in the jug in the microwave but this is where if you're using the double boiler method you will transfer it into your double boiler. So I've melted the wax and it's now time for step four which is adding fragrance oil and this is definitely the fun part. 
So we've got 285 grams of wax here. Um, so for a 10% load, that means that I need 28.5 grams of fragrance oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait until my thermometer says that my wax is at 70 degrees, and then I'm just gonna measure my fragrance oil directly into the jug, just to avoid creating any additional mess. And I think that's just about ready to go. Um, so I'm just gonna pour it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a good stir and then it's ready to pour. So step five, it's time to pour our candle. So the wax is around 70 degrees, so it's a perfect temperature and I'm just gonna slowly pour this into the container. So I've left a gap at the top of around one centimetre. Um, so now the candle is just ready to cool and we'll come back to it when it's cooled off. Step six, we're gonna trim the wick. So we recommend leaving the candle overnight just to make sure it's fully cooled. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim the wick around one centimetre away from the wax. Um, so it's really important that you do that just to make sure the candle has a nice clean burn. So yeah, just gonna trim the wick and then I'm going to apply my warning label, which is really important if you're gifting or if you're wanting to sell it. We sell all of the natural um, wax candle warning labels, which has the usage instructions. So you can simply peel off and place underneath. And then whoever's using the candle, they just know how to use it safely. So there we have our finished candle and hopefully you've seen just how easy it is to make your very own candles at home. Now everything that I've used is available at aroma.com.au in addition to lots of usage guidelines, exciting new fragrance launches and all the information you could possibly need to start your candle making journey. If you've got any questions please leave them in the comments and we'll be very happy to help and we're excited to see your makes so make sure to tag us on our socials.